Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me and welcome back. So today I am doing a video and this is going to be a new segment I'm doing. It is called What I'm Liking and Not So Much. I figured I might do this every week because I'm not very good at doing monthly favorites and I just thought something different and change it up. I know some others do like a weekly favorite thing or something. I'm not actually calling them favorites. It's just what I'm liking, what I'm enjoying, what I've been trying out for the week and you know what I'm liking and maybe not so much what I, what I found that wasn't uh, working out for me too well or something like that. So I've been battling the cold but I still have been playing around with my makeup. Um, just to make myself feel good on different days because I felt so lousy or just felt like I looked so lousy. So I was still playing around with some of my makeup and different things and that. So anyway, if you guys are interested in hearing and seeing what I'm liking so far, or maybe not so much, then stay tuned and keep on watching. Okay, so the brand OGX, um, they're a company that has been sending me stuff and products to try out. I've been getting a lot of PR from them, and which I've been super ecstatic and everything. And um, I have enjoyed trying all these different products out. Um, of course, I haven't get, gotten through every single thing. I try to work through them as I go. Um, they never asked me really to do a review or anything like that. It, you know, it's just my, you know, if, you know, if I mention it or not, you know, or, or whatever, or blog about it. But unfortunately, I have a not so much um, of a couple of products that they had sent to me. It's not working so much for me. It probably will work for other people. It's just not working for me, but I do believe it's what um, it's supposed to do for the hair. So, you know, you know me, I have natural, thick, long, curly hair, and they had sent me the O2 Gravity Defying and Hydrating O2 Shampoo and Conditioner. They sent me both of these, um, also along with the hair oil. I haven't gotten a chance to play with hair oil much yet, but I did try the shampoo and the conditioner. Um, now, it has on here, it's to volumize and breathe life into fine hair. Um, I don't have fine hair. My hair, like I said, obviously is thick, natural, and curly. I have used products before that say that it's going to thicken your hair or whatever. I haven't had, I haven't really had problems with them. Um, but this, like, have you ever had um, a shampoo that you use where it kind of, like, bunches up your hair and tangles it more like I felt like when I used this shampoo it made my hair work like it, it made it more tangly knotted and everything when I started working it through I had a heck of a time getting my comb through it just was not a good experience for me and then when I used the conditioner it helped a little but not it, it just wasn't a good experience with these two um so these two have not been so much of a good thing for me. Um, they smell amazing. I mean, a lot of the products do. It's uh, It smells amazing. If you do have fine hair, I do believe these probably will work for you. It just didn't for me. So unfortunately, not so much of a good thing for me. Now, two other products that they sent me that I have been enjoying is the Moroccan Sea Salt Spray. I have really, this smells really nice as well. It is, it's you, um, it's infused with sea salt, uh, sea kelp, argan oil, or Morocco. It helps add fullness, shine for perfectly undone, breezy, beached bombshell waves. Um, and I have been using this along with the Quenching Coconut Curls Frizz Defying Curl Styling Milk. This stuff is pretty good. I really like it in my hair. Using these two have really, that's kind of what I did in my hair last night, like overnight, you know, like I showed you how I did my hair, which goodness me, it needs some work done on it. But that is what I used was these two products here on my hair now, like overnight last night, which 
Oops, my hair just stuck on there. Of course, this has a beautiful coconut smell. Um, and this just this has just a nice smell in general. I'm not sure how to describe it, but it's a nice smell. So what I usually do is I will put this in my hair first and then I'll spritz this in throughout the hair. Um, and I really have liked them. So yeah. For skincare, I had to mention this one, even though I just recently had gotten it. I'm really liking the Lano Cream Re Reviving Night Cream with the New Zealand Manuka Honey. Um, like I said, this is like the talk of everything. Don't know how well you're going to see that. But I've been using this. This is a night cream, like I said. Um, and I have really liked it. My skin's been loving it. I feel like it's really been plumping up my skin, making it feel good and just firm and plump. Really liking that. All right, let's go into makeup. So a primer that I had a deluxe sample was the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. This is just the regular foundation primer. It um, doesn't say luminous or anything. I wouldn't mind trying the luminous one because um, I am all about that kind of thing. But this is a really, really, really nice primer. I am liking this. Um, it would be something in my mind to think about in a more higher end primer to purchase. I really like it a lot. It's I did put it on today. A lot of these products that I'm going to be sharing with you I have on today actually. Um, just really think it's a really good primer. So it is one for me to look into. Um, I would like to look into more of her products anyway. So maybe her foundations and stuff. Um, really nice primer. Mascara. I have really liked the Fully Charged from Pure Cosmetics uh, mascara. Um, I will purchase it again. Um, I like the wand. Some people don't like the big long wands like that. Um, I, I really like it. I think it's a really good mascara. It has worked really nice for my lashes and everything. I just, yeah, it's nice mascara. So really liking that one. Been using it a lot this week. Okay, so the next product I'm going to talk to you guys about is a product that was sent to me as well. And it is from a company called I Am Green Minded. And they are a company that deals with like all natural. Um, they are cruelty free, I believe made in the USA. A lady by the name of Mary Ellen. <laughs> when I saw the name Mary Ellen, of course I thought our Mary Ellen on here on YouTube. And, um, but she contacted and asked if I was interested in trying out this product that's supposed to help for uh, dark circles and everything and help to brighten under the eyes. So of course I was like, yes, because I lack bad sleep sometimes. My sleeping pattern is so wacky, so crazy. Um, so yeah, I, my eyes can get baggy. They can get dark circles under them. So of course, yes, I figured I would give it a try. Here is the product here. It is in a small, I think it says, I'm trying to look on the bottom here and it looks like it says two grams. I was looking on the site as well. Um, it's a peach tone mineral uh, based uh, product. And what you can see right there, it almost reminds you of bare minerals, you know, like the you know, they have a little sifter and tap some out. Um, a little does go a long way. It will not clog pores or anything like that. Um, so you don't have to worry about clogging pores. They have other products on there. It sounds like they do have a foundation that's a mineral kind of foundation. Um, they do have, I wouldn't mind trying, they have a pH balance vitamin B3 spray. They have like face sprays, highlighters, um, eyeshadows. They have all kinds of products. I will put their link down below. Um, and I have been liking this product. It has been brightening under my eyes. Um, it, it does, it does make your eyes look more brighter, more awake there. I was concerned um, for, you know, like um, settling in fine lines or anything like that because I really struggle with that a lot of times. I have noticed that since I've gotten older and my eyes are getting the way they are. I was like kind of, mm, you know, with it like, oh, it's going to settle my lines. 
I'm a little bit worried about that because um, the only one that I have found so far that works for me because it's so finely milled is the um, e.l.f. Uh, under eye brightener. When I put this on, and that's what I have on today, it has not settled um, in under, you know, like in my lines or anything. It feels nice and smooth there. It doesn't, um, it doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look like any of that kind of stuff. I mean, you guys could probably even see, um, you know, it just looks nice and natural. And my, I do look pretty nice and awake, even though sometimes I don't feel like it. Um, and they did give me a discount code for this um, product. I'm not getting uh, paid or anything. I won't be getting anything for the discount code. It's just a code that they had given me. I fairly let you guys know it is $21 for this little guy here. Just so you guys know, I do have a fist. <laughs> Lord, let me talk. I do have a 15% discount code for you guys if you'd like to use it and try the product out. I do like it. It does work. It does exactly what it says. So I just figured to let you guys know it is $21 for this size here. So the discount code is I am green all that beauty 15. I will put that all down below for you guys. If you're interested, you can go on the site, check out all their other stuff if you want to. Um, look into this if you want to try it. And if you're all about cruelty free um, and you like the idea, yeah, it would be a site for you guys. So haven't really been liking that though. It has it has worked great for me. Okay. Another product is a lip liner. I have never really gotten much into lip liners. I don't know why. Back in the day, I didn't really bother with lip liners. Just put lipstick on, out the door I went. Um, I started getting into them a little bit more. I think Mally, I think Mally got me into them. And um, I don't know. I understand the whole concept of it and see, you know, because it doesn't bleed out the lines. And when I was younger, I didn't really have these wonderful little lines above my lips because I was a smoker. And um, so I didn't really have them when I was younger as much as I am getting them now. So, um, but I kept wanting to find um, a lip liner that kind of matched my skin tone to my lips a little bit, you know, or something. Something that, you know, I could use with any kind of lipstick if possible. But I am liking these lip liners and it is the lip liners uh, from Milani. It's the Color Statement Lip Liners. Color Statement Lip Liner. It says number four. And mine's in the All Naturel. It is perfect for me. I could have sharpened it, but it is a perfect perfect, perfect shade for me. It's crazy. I didn't think this would be a shade that would work for me, but it's been working great. It has become my favorite lip liner right now. Um, you know, cause I have it even on today. We did do more of a little bit of a bolder eye look. So I didn't want to, you know, have bold, crazy lips. So I put a little more natural, uh, lip lipstick on. Um, if you guys are interested to know what lipstick, it is one of the Rimmel Kate Moss in the black in number, is it 80? I think it's a number 80. That's what I'm wearing with the liner. Which, as you can see there, not a bad match. So that's what I'm wearing. And I think this is number 80. It's either 8 or 80. Can't figure it out. Because I'm not sure if it goes up to 80, but it's either 8 or 80. It's in the black tubes though, the Kate Moss ones. So if you guys are interested. Another product that I bought, oh, probably been a while back ago. I really didn't get a chance to play with it too much or anything. Because like, I buy products and then it's like it sits there and it's like, oh yeah, snap. I forgot about that one. And, you know, then I reach it and play with it. But it's the Laura Geller Gilded Honey uh, highlighter. Oh, I love Laura Geller's products, her eyeshadows, her highlighters, her blushes, just phenomenal. And of course, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous highlight. That is what you see on my cheeks glowing away. And 
it's beautiful. I could actually see using that even if you went on your on your eyelids. I actually could see you doing that, but that's the all famous Gilded Honey. I'm going to get some more of these highlighters. Just beautiful. I had to mention this, and of course, as soon as I got it, I used it quite a bit. Can't say every day because the days that I was feeling blah, I didn't put on makeup or anything, but I don't wear makeup every single day anyway. But it is the Tarte, Tartlet, Tartiest, I'm sorry, the Tartiest Blush Palette. And I have played around with the Dream Color, which is more of the pink. And today I am wearing La Live, which is that nice, bright, corally shade I am wearing today and they're just gorgeous. You have to be careful because I got a little carried away a couple times because I'm not thinking as I'm dipping my brush in there. Um, you know the pigmentation's insane and I love this brush. This brush is just perfect to work along my cheek. So this I got on QVC because you do get both both together. I think that's a great deal because you get a really nice brush from them and they do the bamboo wood for a lot of their brushes and I just I love it. So that, I think that's a great deal. So you get both of these on QVC. And then lastly is my Mally Ageless Eyes Eyeshadow Palette. I have been loving this palette and playing with it. Now today <laughs> I wasn't sure how everything was going to work out. I'm not sure how I fully feel. It is more, you know, purples and uh, smoky because I used the blue violet with the amethyst and used tawny. Purples do look good for my hazel eyes. I mean, you know, it is, it does work great for my hazel eyes. Um, one of the shades I had used not long ago too was Sunset. And I have really enjoyed that. I had a lot of compliments when I wore that. I think I wore it, that sunset shade with Tawny. And I'm trying to think if there was any other shade. Oh, I think I put Chestnut in with it. And it was a really nice shade. I, I, like, I like these shadows because a lot of Melly's eyeshadows don't seem to always make your eyes look aging. I don't know, just hers work so well with my eyelids and I have always enjoyed her um, eyeshadows. I'm not so sure if I'm so keen on the look I did today or not. I mean, I'm not always somebody that does really smoky looks. I don't know, I've kind of gotten over the smoky look a little bit. I think it looks sexy, I really do. And I think anybody can rock it, who cares how old you are. You want to rock a smoky look, do it. I'm just, you know, I'm not sure if those two colors, um, I kind of think I would have changed it up a little bit, but I was playing around, you know how it is. Cream, I usually put all over on the lid and all over everywhere. Um, and it is, it is the only palette I've been using for the last couple, since I got it. I've been playing around with it. So it's the only one I've been using lately. So any eye looks that you've seen within recently would be from this palette. This will be a new uh, segment I'm going to do. So each week I will have a video up sharing, um, you know, what I'm liking and not so much. It'll be up every Wednesday. I figured Wednesday, what I'm liking, not what I'm liking and not so much Wednesday or however, I don't know. So, all right. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. That would help me out so much. I really appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, you can come join me each week. You can go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. Totally free if you're new to YouTube or don't know much about the subscribing to a channel. It is totally free. And as always, beauties, please remember to just be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you guys all take care, and I will see you then. Love you guys so much. Thank you for joining. Bye-bye.